Well, good morning to you. Happy Monday, man. I want to talk to you from the book of Psalm today. Psalm 108, verse 13. Psalm 108, verse 10, 13 says this. Through our God, we will do valiantly. For it is he who shall trick down our enemies. Let me say that again. Through our God, we will do valiantly. For it is he who will trick down our enemies. I looked up the word valiantly. I love this verse. And the word valiantly means courageous. They were valiant. They were courageous, right? So this verse is saying that David is writing, and he says, it's through our God that we will do you valiantly. We will act courageously, for it is the Lord who will trek down our enemies. And I love this because, listen, if you don't get it, if you haven't gotten it, we are at war. There is an enemy who has decided to flex big and bold and arrogant, and he needs a response and that response is a courageous people and a courageous church that understand the God that they serve, that understand that it is the Lord who has already crushed the enemy. See, family, we don't fight for victory, we fight from victory. And the Lord is saying to us as the people of God that we need to understand what it is to move and operate courageously. It is through the Lord, through God, that you and I are courageous. We're not courageous in our own strength. In our own abilities, we don't have any strength. We don't have any abilities. Us against the enemy, we fail. But us through God, we win. Us through God, we can be courageous. On our own, we should run for the hills. But through the Lord, you and I can stand courageously. You, can, I, you and I can stand with courage and with determination. And so it says, through our God, we will be courageous. So what are you walking through, family? What's going on around you? Don't tuck tail and hide. Don't shrink back. We're not called to shrink back. We're called to move forward victoriously. It's through our God that we are valiant, that we are courageous. I don't know what you're facing, whether it's physical sickness, issues in your family, issues in your life, issues in your job, the financial climate, doesn't matter. Through your God, you can be courageous. Through your God, you can do valiantly. I'm standing for somebody right now in my, in my life, a dear, dear, dear person. And I'm standing courageously for his life and for his deliverance in the name of Jesus. It doesn't look right in the natural. It doesn't look like he can win, but that's not where I live. I'm standing courageously for him because it's through the Lord. He will trek down my enemies. He'll trek down his enemies. Your enemies are no match for your God. Hear that. Hear it again. Your enemies are no match for your God. They will take you out. But not if you're in your God. If God is for you, who can be against you? Your enemies can't defeat your God. God will trash them down. He'll crush them. He'll crush them. That's the God that we serve. So we need not be afraid. We need to be courageous. Let me tell you something about courage. Courage is not the absence of fear. Sometimes people say, well, I'm just too afraid to be courageous. No, 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 no. Any soldier that's gone to battle will tell you that they're afraid. But they move anyway. And you know what happens when you start moving? Courage takes over your heart. As long as you sit and don't move, you will be afraid. There'll be fear. It'll grip you. It'll paralyze you. But as you begin to move... And hear me, when you begin to move against the things that are coming at you in prayer, in action, in word, in deed, in unity, you begin to move against these things, what happens is faith is released. You have to hear what happens. Faith is released and faith is the absence or the opposite of fear. And you cannot in the end have faith and fear. As long as you sit and don't move, you're sitting in fear. But as you begin to move through our God, courageously moving, even if you're afraid, that releases faith, family. It releases faith. And you begin to move out. And as you begin to move out, fear falls off. Faith takes its place. You're moving courageously. And then the Bible says that it's your God that's going to trample your enemy. You're not even going to have to fight your enemy. He's already done it. 
He just needs you to move in faith. He will do the heavy lifting. That's what God does. So I'm telling you today, child of God, through your God, you will do valiantly. For it is he who shall tread down your enemy. And so, Father, I thank you, God. I thank you, God, that through you, through you, we can move courageously, Lord God. We need not be afraid of anything, God. And although I lift up all the things that everyone's walking through today, I lift up the young man that I'm praying for today, God. I speak health. I speak your word, Lord God. I speak, Lord, your provision in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that as everyone here is praying with me, that they would begin to release faith and begin to release courage. We rebuke fear. We rebuke discouragement. I come against every ploy or plot of the enemy, against everyone who's watching, everyone who's listening. And, and for the person that I'm praying for, God, I come against the plots of the enemy to destroy, to break, to kill, to destroy, to steal. Satan, I cancel your assignments in the name of Jesus. The Lord has already destroyed you. We come against your plan. The blood of Jesus rebukes you today. And Lord, I pray that you would allow us to rise up in courage. I rebuke the spirit of fear. And I speak your life and your purpose and your strength. It is through you that we are valiant. Help us, God, we pray. Give us what you have said in your word. And we thank you today, God, that we don't fight for victory. We fight from victory. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Continue to pray. Continue to move violently in the name of Jesus. And I'll see you tonight for prayer, uh, 9.15 p.m., YouTube Live, Facebook Live. Have a good day.